After coming off of a national championship win to cap off his sophomore season, Chicago Robinson had a decision to make. He has proved that he is clearly one of the best quarterbacks in the nation and will be draft eligible after this season. So the question is, does this make this his last season in college? That depends. Robinson had two goals he wanted to accomplish while in college. One of them, winning the national championship, he completed last season. All that leaves for him is to win the Heisman. So Chicago decided, if he wins the Heisman this year, it's off to the NFL Draft. If not, he'll come back and play his senior season. So headed into our junior season, the Illini are ranked number 17th in the preseason polls, and we are projected to finish all the way fourth in the Big Ten Leaders Division. A little surprised by that one, but it is a tough division but our team has the Heisman leader at the start of the season, none other than Junior Chicago Robinson. As we look to start our Heisman campaign here in our junior year with the Illini, coming off of a national championship, we're looking to defend that as well. But a Heisman will be enough for Chicago to declare for the NFL Draft. As we head down and get started with our season opener here at home against Cincinnati, third and eight. First pass of the season would be completed to our tight end. First and goal now, Robinson back to throw. He's going to go across the middle. That's completed to Matt Brown for a touchdown as the Illini get on the board first. And look at that. First extra point of our year. The kicker misses the extra point. What is he doing? Why is he still on scholarship? Nonetheless, though, we're going right back and scoring another touchdown. And this game against Cincinnati, it's going to be a lot of that. They could not keep up with us at all as we're going to throw another touchdown here. As our lead is extended to 20 to nothing. First and goal, quick check down to our tight end for another touchdown. And this lead is just going to keep extending. It's not even halfway through the second quarter yet. And we're going to throw another touchdown. And we are going to go up 34 to nothing over the Bearcats. First and 10 now. Second half action. They finally got on the board. Quick throw to the end zone. We find our tight end again. We go up 41 to 7. Still the third quarter. Look at that dot to Matt Brown over the linebacker across the middle. And we're looking to score again. First and goal. Quick check down. That play works every time. It's another touchdown for the Illini. And we're going to walk away with a big time victory here in week one to open up the season against the Cincinnati Bearcats. We're going to win this one 55 to 7. Huge day from Chicago as he threw for eight passing touchdowns in one game. That's going to set a school record, and I'm pretty sure that might be an NCAA record as well. So we haven't had a skill upgrade in a while. We finally get one. We're going plus three speed. That's really the only attribute we're looking to upgrade at all this year is everything else we need is pretty maxed out, but we want to try to get that speed up as high as we can if we are going to be headed to the NFL at the end of the season. So that brings us to our second game of the season going up against Washington. We're opening up with a beautiful dot to Matt Brown down the right sideline for a touchdown. Third and 11, Robinson back to throw. That's going to be completed on the corner route over two defenders. Second and goal now, back to throw. All the time in the world. We're going to wait for it to develop. Receiver had a hard time getting off the corner, but he gets off in time. That's what she said. And we pick up the touchdown. It's first and 10. That's going to be completed to our tight end. He's going to pick up a big play and a first down nearing the end of the first quarter now across the middle on the slant route and that's going to be taken for another touchdown for the Illini as we go up 21 to 7 over Washington third and six we're going to step up Chicago take it himself avoids one defender but he would be taken down after he picks up the first down second and six lobbing this to the end zone and that's going to be caught from our tight end as we go up 28 to 14. Not quite as dominant as we were over Cincinnati. Washington trying to stay in this game here, but Chicago keeps attacking the defense through the air. And he's going to complete another touchdown pass here to put us up 35-14. to So Washington has somehow managed to come back. Only a one-possession game here. 35-28. We're going to seal the deal here with that touchdown pass to go up two possessions. And we're going to walk away with a lot closer victory than we wanted, even though we were very dominant in our performance as we take this one 42 to 35 over Washington. That brings us to the third game of the season. Yet again, the Illini are at home again. Third home game in a row. As the third game of the season, we are taking on Idaho. This should be another blowout for the Illini as we open up 
It's looking like it might be. Up 14 nothing. just under two minutes to go here in the first quarter. Third and seven. Backed up to a third down. Not what we like, but we're going to take care of that no problem as this is going to be taken to the house for a touchdown. We go up 21 to nothing. Near the end of the first quarter now, first and 10. Nice out route. That's going to be completed to our receiver. He has one man to beat. Can he beat him? It looks like he will. He will not be caught as he will take this to the end zone for a touchdown. And this lead has extended 28 to nothing, 35 to nothing now, just over a minute to go in the first half. That's going to be completed for a touchdown to extend it even more. Moving to the third quarter, it's 41 to 3. Somehow our kicker missed another extra point. Like, come on, man. That's two missed extra points in three games. Not really acceptable. We're looking for another touchdown here. A little low on the throw, but our receiver makes the diving adjustment. That's what Wilson wanted to do in the Super Bowl against the Patriots. We're able to do it and walk away with a victory over the Idaho Vandals. 75-3. to Look at that. And that's going to bring us to the final game of this episode where we're going to take on number four, Ohio State. We're opening up conference play, and we have a huge test. They're number four. We're number 13. Let's hop into it. Third and 16. Backed up. As we're going to complete this to our tight end, does he have enough? Yes, he does. The refs give it to him. Third and five now. No one has scored. We're about halfway through the first quarter still. Robinson across the middle. That's going to be completed. Big pickup, big conversion. As we're in the red zone now, second and two. Looking to strike across the middle. That's going to be completed for a touchdown. The line I go up first. Moving to the second quarter. It's still 7-0. Close game here with Ohio State. We're lobbing this to the end zone. And it's our tight end on the corner route. That works all too well for us in the red zone. Up 14-7. Ohio State would return with a touchdown. Second and three. We're running over a man. Yes, he tackled us, but we kind of ran him over. We'll call it a hit stick. As first and goal, that's going to be completed on the slant route for another touchdown. And it's still a one possession game here. 21 to 14. Looking to score right before half. We're going to do just that. It's our trusty tight end wide open down the seam. As it's a two possession game here. 28 to 14. 322 and counting to go in the third quarter. Oh, what a break out of that route. Turning it up the sideline for a touchdown. But somehow... Buckeyes came back. They tied it up. It's 35 apiece. Just over two minutes to go. We're looking for it all here in the end zone. That's going to be completed. What a throw from Chicago Robinson. And Ohio State did it again. They tied it up. 42 apiece. Under 30 seconds to go. But Chicago Robinson proven why he's the top quarterback in the nation as that's going to be completed to his tight end again. Less than 30 seconds to go. We take the lead and we set a school passing yards record for a career. To cap that off, we get the victory over number four Ohio State to open up Big Ten Conference play in a thriller 49 to 42. So after that win, we have moved up. We are number 10 in the nation headed into week five. And we are sitting atop of the Big Ten leaders division 4-0. 1-0 so far in conference play. Thankfully, we are still atop of the leaderboard at the Heisman Watch through the first four weeks. We hope that stays that way as we have put up over 16, almost 1,700 yards and 27 touchdowns in just four games. That is an absolutely ridiculous stat line from the junior. So that is going to bring us to the end of this episode. Next episode, we continue Big Ten Conference play as we open up at home again, hosting Northwestern Wildcats. I'll see you guys in the next one.